Hi guys, welcome back to another video and this week's video is going to be really exciting because it is Echo and I's first competition back after his injury. We're heading to Kerry Muir to do a pick a fence and we have entered the 100 class, although whether or not we do all the 100s is a different story. We're just going to have fun and whatever happens, happens. I'm quite nervous because it is my first of like competition in a long time and it's my first time going around a cross country course for almost a year, if not two years. Um, so we're just gonna take it as it comes and hopefully Echo's good, but we're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens and try to enjoy ourselves. I've just worked out the timings for tomorrow and I will be up at quarter to four in the morning, which is definitely one thing I didn't miss about competing. But um, so it's gonna be an early night tonight and I'm really excited to get out with Echo though. It's um, a venue, one of my favorite venues, but it is a really difficult course. It is one of the trickiest cross-country courses in my opinion that we have up here in Scotland. Um, it's really hilly but hopefully Echo should be fit enough so he should find the, the length of the course absolutely fine but there are some definitely some difficult and technical questions around it but fingers crossed that he goes well and we have fun and enjoy ourselves but I'll see you guys tomorrow when I wake up and in the middle of the night effectively and um, I'll see you then when we're going to go and get Echo. So we have arrived at the yard. You can probably see the clock there. It says it is five in the morning. And I've just given Echo his breakfast. And then I'll start getting him ready for the journey. He's a very sleepy boy, aren't you? Um, we were probably a bit late, to be honest, leaving. Um, so just need to kind of keep a move on and hopefully we should get there in time. But he's been a very good boy. He's a very good boy because we are running a bit late, but loaded straight away. So we're just going to get on the road and we'll see you guys later. So that's Echo all loaded and we're on our way to Kirimira. It's about a two hour drive and I still have to walk the course when I get there. So we're going to be arriving at about 7.25 and then I'll be walking the course and we're on at 9.30, which is a very early start. Um, I've had a look at the course photos and uh, like as I thought it is quite a big course so we're not going to put any pressure on ourselves um, to do any of the like massive jumps and if, if we have a couple blips along the way that's fine um, I just mainly want to enjoy myself this is my first competition with Echo in so long and um, I'm just wanting to have fun and just get round so if we get round and complete I'll be more than happy even if we have a couple blips it won't be anything um, we can like work through from training like Echo isn't the most confident cross country horse he likes to just he likes to look at things so he definitely doesn't make your job easy but he does really enjoy it he just likes to look at everything that he's jumping and everything around him um, so if we go if we get around and we jump a good handful of the 100 fences I'll be happy with that so we have arrived here at Kirimira. We are just walking the course. Um, it looks to be a really nice course. The optimum time is five minutes and three seconds, um, which isn't too bad. It is quite hilly though. So um, we'll just take it steady going downhill especially, but the grass is absolutely amazing. It couldn't be better to be honest. And um, hopefully it goes well. I'll move it to the left so it doesn't fall straight in the hole again. Just pop in the wrong grass, it'll be fine. He's upside down, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, there we are. Yeah. 
So we're coming in there, up over this step, and then an angle to see. And it is quite an angle fence. We can't really see it as much in the video, but. Oh my god, what a wee superstar! He's only gone and went clear around all the 100s. I cannot be happy with him. I'm literally beaming. Cheesy chips have been acquired and we are watching some of the cross country. I think it's on the 90, onto the 90s now and it's staying dry. So we're just enjoying yummy, yummy cheesy chips. Which the cheese hasn't quite melted in, which is a bit of an issue. So I might need to leave it for a bit to melt in. And then we're just watching some of the cross country. Good boy. All back home safely. Yeah. Pony. So we're just taking Echo for a wee walk down the drive because he's been standing for quite a while. It's about two hours um, to get to Kiri Muir and back. Um, well, to get to Kiri Muir is two hours and then to get back it's another two hours. So he's been standing in the trailer for quite a while. So we're just going to take him for a walk to stretch his legs. But I've just had a message telling me that we actually came first. We came in with a time of five minutes and one second and the optimum time was five minutes and three seconds and he jumped all the 100s clear and so that means that we were in first place and I just could not believe it. I wasn't even expecting for us to go clear around all the 100s and to go clear around every fence and then to come home with a first place is just unbelievable so I couldn't be happy with him. Hi baby. Oh, he's a good boy. All back home and happy. He's a superstar. Good boy. So Echo and I are all back from our pick a fence today at Kerry Muir and I thought I would just sit in my garden and give a little debrief of the day and how it all went because obviously Echo completely exceeded all expectations today and totally pulled out the bag. Um, so when I was walking the course, I wasn't feeling very confident. I've not walked a cross-country course in about a year, 
Um, I've not walked a 100 cross country course in two years. So the fences to me looked absolutely massive and I was convinced that I wasn't even going to do all the 100 fences first time. Um, but we arrived there and got tacked up and I walked over to the warm up, um, which looked already very busy, even though I was one of the earliest um, on in the day and the warm up was already very full. So uh, we were asked to wait outside and um, I found out that they actually hadn't started running the event yet. Um, I was meant to be on at half past nine and it got to half past nine and not even the first person had left the Starbucks. So it was running about half an hour late by the time I ended up going, which was about um, five past, 10 past 10. Um, so we, I stood echo in the corner of the warm up, basically just totally working myself up, getting really nervous. I wasn't sure when I was meant to be on because nobody really knew when it, um, when they were going to start sending people off. So I was working myself up thinking, should I be warming up now? Should I not be warming up? Should I get off him? Should I uh, like, should I just stand here? Should I just walk him around? So I was kind of like going through all these scenarios in my head, like what should I do basically? Because I think warm ups for me are one of the most nerve wracking um, parts of the cross country. So luckily they were running in numerical order and I was number 16. So I was able to kind of see who was going and then how many people were going to be before me. And so I was able to start warming Echo up um, when we were about 20 minutes from from going off. And um, so I started walking him around and obviously the warm up was very busy now with the backlog of half an hour's worth of riders. Um, which I wasn't expecting really and Echo's normally a really laid back character he doesn't get overwhelmed in competition atmospheres or by other horses but in the warm-up he was leaping about the place he was bronking he was rearing and he was just um I couldn't I could not let my legs touch his side because he would just kind of like leap up and if a horse were to run anywhere past him or behind him I could just feel him tensing up and he would do this big cat leap which is so unlike Echo and I was kind of like, at first I was a bit worried thinking is this is this a pain reaction is there something wrong here um but I trotted him off and I realized like once once I put a little bit of leg on and got him moving forward he was just off like a rocket so I thought no it's just this is actually just excitement which is so unusual for Echo because he's just such a chilled out guy so um I realised that he was actually just very excited to get going, which was quite a pleasant surprise. Um, but I warmed him up then over a few of the fences. Um, they have a nice big selection of fences in the warm up at Kirimir. And actually, I was able to kind of get the right timing for warming up. I started warming up about 20 minutes before I was on, which is exactly where I wanted to be at with him. And I stood him just kind of next to the exit of the warm up and watched the person before me go off and I headed over. Echo seemed to be like way more chilled out that he was away from the busy warm up. And I was a bit worried like, oh, I don't want him to switch off. I don't want him to kind of fall asleep, but that was definitely not the case. And as soon as we set off, Echo was completely game. He knew exactly what he was doing. And I went over the first three fences and I just thought this, that like, he's totally up for it. Like he's completely going for it. And it made me realize I didn't really need to be as worried as I was because he just flies over all of us. So he came over fences one, two and three and then I took him back to trot to go down a really steep hill at the back end of fence number three. Once we were actually probably at the point of going over the rail to the drop, I can kind of, I could tell that he was totally confident and happy at the height that we were doing and so I finished jumping all the 100 fences and he went clear which is just like beyond any of my expectations for the day I just wanted to get around I was fully expecting him to have a couple funny moments because it has been so long and he was just it was like completely amazing I can't even put it into words I was honestly feeling really tearful coming over the last fence because I was just so proud of him and um one of the fences that I was most worried about was the big brush at the bottom of the hill after the drop fence. 
and the water and he jumped both of those fences absolutely incredibly. I think the water fence was probably the fence he jumped best on the whole course. Um, so I'd have loved a video of that but obviously it's quite a twisty windy course and there's trees and stuff which blocks it. Um, so I wasn't able to get a video of that but I'm just beyond happy with Echo. It's been so long since I've had that cross country buzz and just felt so happy with him and felt like the round honestly couldn't have gone much better. I felt that we were completely in sync with each other and of course I had to ride him as you always do but he was listening to everything I was doing and asking of him. He was, when I put my leg on he was going, when I took a pull he was slowing down and he was just totally switched on uh, so it couldn't get any better and I'm so so thrilled and to come first just tops the whole day off so we've just had an Indian takeaway as a celebration and a glass of Prosecco which is now empty but um, I just couldn't be happy with him so he's probably gonna have a day off tomorrow and then we're back out on Friday doing some cross-country schooling um, which is just gonna be a bit of fun I'm not gonna do too much with him or push him too hard uh, but I'm absolutely thrilled. So I'd just like to say thank you so much to everybody for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.